This is Mrs. Zappia with Lesson 19 from Module 1, Computing Actual Areas from a Scale Drawing. Our student outcomes are, students identify the scale factor. Given a scale drawing, students compute the area in the actual picture. Our essential question is, given an actual picture and a scale drawing, how do you calculate the scale factor? And number two, how do you find the actual area from a scale drawing? Example one, exploring area relationships. Use the diagram below to find the scale factor and then find the area of each factor, of each figure. We're going to set up a table and label your actual drawing and your scale drawing. And we know that the actual is the independent variable and the scale drawing is the y. Then we'll record the lengths from each figure. The actual picture has a length of 4 and the scale drawing has a length of 8. To calculate the scale factor, that's y divided by x. So 8 divided by 4. 8 divided by 4 is 2. So our scale factor is 2. The actual area is length times width. Air actual area equals length times width. So on our actual area or picture, the length is 4 and the width is 3. And so the actual area is 12 square units. For the scale drawing area, our area equals length times width. The scale length is 8 and the width is 6. And 8 times 6 equals 48. So the area equals 48 square units. The value of the ratio of the scale drawing area to the actual area. So remember that a ratio is a comparison of two numbers. So we're talking about the area of the scale drawing compared to the area of the actual drawing. The area of the scale drawing was 48. The area of the actual drawing is 12. And 48 divided by 12 equals 4. So the value of the ratio is 4. Example 2. Pause the video and complete the problem and then resume the video to check the answer. In example 3, we make our t-chart, label the original and the scale drawing. We'll use the base, the actual base is 6 units and the scale drawing base is 8 units. Now we can calculate our scale factor. That's y divided by x, so 8 divided by 6, and that has a value of 4 thirds. So our scale factor is 4 thirds or 1 and 1 third. The actual area. These are triangles and the area formula for a triangle is 1 half times base times height. So for the actual area, we've got 1 half times 6 for the base and 9 for the height. And that's half of 6 is 3, and 3 times 9 is 27. So our actual area is 27 square units. Then our scale drawing area, we are going to use the same formula. Area equals 1 half times base times height. 1 half times the base of 8 times the height of 12. Half of 8 is 4 and 4 times 12 is 48. So the scale drawing area is 48 square units. The value of the ratio of the scale drawing compared to the actual area The scale area was 48, and the actual area is 27. Then we can simplify that. They have a common factor of 3, and so in simplest form, that fraction is 16 ninths. 
So that is the value of the ratio that compares the scale drawing area to the actual area. So the results, what do you notice about the ratio of the areas in examples one through three? Complete the statements below. When the scale factor for the sides was two, what then the value of the ratio of the area? So this was example one and we had a scale factor of two and the question is what was the ratio of the area? And so the ratio of the areas from that example was four. Then when the scale factor of the sides was one third, so we had a scale factor of one third and then the value of the ratio of the area was one ninth. And in example three, when the scale factor was four thirds, then the ratio of the area was 16 ninths. Based on these observations, what conclusions can you draw about the scale factor and the area? So look at the relationship between the numbers. The relationship between two and four, the relationship between one third and one ninth, the relationship between four thirds and sixteen ninths. And do you notice anything about those numbers? The ratio of the areas is the scale factor multiplied by itself or squared. So if you took the scale factor of two and multiplied two times two, you would get four. If you multiply one third times one third, you would get one ninth. If you multiply four thirds times four thirds, you would get 16 ninths. So the ratio of the area is the scale factor multiplied by itself, or you could say that it was squared. If the scale factor of the sides is R, then the ratio of the areas is R squared to one. The scale factor is R, then the ratios of the area is R squared to one. You could also think of it as a fraction, R squared over one, if you write the ratio as a fraction. Example four, they said yes. The student government liked your half court basketball plan. They have asked you to calculate the actual area of the court so they can estimate the cost of the project. The scale drawing, one inch on the drawing, corresponds to 15 feet of actual length. Based on your drawing below, what will the area of the half court be? In order to calculate the actual area, we need to know the actual dimensions. And we can make a t-chart to figure that out. We've got the actual and the scale drawing. And we know that the length of the scale drawing is two inches and the width of the scale drawing is one and two thirds inches. And we know that the scale is one inch on the drawing corresponds to 15 feet of actual length. We can use this row to calculate our scale factor. One divided by 15. One divided by 15 is 1 15th. So when our actual is one, then our scale factor will be 1 15th. We can use that scale factor to find the actual measurements now for the length and the width. Two divided by the scale factor of 1 15th and one and two thirds divided by one fifteenth. And those are gonna give us our actual measurements. Those actual measurements are 30 feet and 25 feet. Now that we know the actual measurements, we can find the area, the area of the court. We know that the area formula for a rectangle is length times width and the length was 30 and the width is 25. So the area 30 times 25 gives us our total square feet, 750 square feet,
for the basketball court. We're going to continue with the exercise now. The triangle depicted by the drawing has an actual area of 36 square units. What is the scale of the drawing? Note that each square on the grid has a length of one unit. The height of our triangle is three units. The base of our triangle is six units. And the area would be one half times base times height. One half times six times three. Half of six is three and three times three is nine. So the area of this drawing is nine square units. Next, we'll make a table to organize our data. We've got the original or the actual as our independent x variable and our y, which is our dependent variable, is the scale drawing. And we know that the area of this, the drawing is nine square units and we know that the actual area is 36 square units. Then let's calculate the scale of the drawing. So we have 9 over 36, 9 divided by 36, that's y divided by x. So 9 divided by 36. And that is going to equal r squared. Then we've got the 9 and the 36. So we know that these two numbers multiplied together must equal 9, and these two numbers multiplied together must equal 36. And we know that 3 times 3 is 9, and 6 times 6 is 36. And so that means that r is equal to 3 sixths, and simplified, it would be 1 half. So 1 half is our scale factor. And what that means is the scale is one unit of the scale is equal to two units of the actual length. In this exercise, we found the scale of the drawing. In this next exercise, use the scale drawings of two different apartments to answer the questions. Use a ruler to measure. So we see that they have already been measured on our diagram. And what we want to do is we want to find the scale drawing area for both apartments and use it to find the actual area. The formula for area is length times width for a rectangle. And our length is two and a half and our width is two inches. And so we multiply two and a half times two and that's going to give us the area of that rectangle. So we have a scale drawing area of five square units. Next, we're going to calculate the actual area. In order to do that, we need to calculate the actual length and the actual width. So we'll set up a table. And I've created the actual and the scale drawing columns. I put in the length and the width from the scale drawing. And next I want to calculate what the scale factor is. The scale is one inch on the scale drawing, represents 12 feet in the actual room. Next, calculate your scale factor. So one divided by 12. One divided by 12 is one twelfth. And that means that one foot in the actual is represented by one twelfth of an inch. So our scale factor is 1 12th, and we can use that to calculate the actual dimensions. That's the scale factor. So here we have 2 and a half divided by a 12th, and 2 divided by a 12th. And those are going to give us the dimensions of the room, which is 30 feet and 24 feet. Now that we know the actual dimensions of the room, we can calculate the area of the room. 
area of a rectangle is length times width. So we have 30 feet by 24 feet. And the area of that room is 720 square feet. You've actually learned different methods of completing the, computing the area of a actual room in this video. And you can use either method. What you learned in the first page from looking at the patterns or figuring out the actual dimensions and then multiplying the length times the width. I'd like you to pause the video and repeat the process for the second room here, or the second apartment, where you're going to calculate the area of the scale drawing, then calculate the length and the width of the real apartment, and then calculate the area of the real apartment. When you're done, unpause the video to check your answer. In this lesson, you have learned Given the scale factor r, representing the relationship between the scale drawing length and the actual length, the square of this scale factor, r square, represents the relationship between the scale drawing area and the actual area. For example, if one inch on the scale drawing represents four inches of the actual length, then the scale factor r is one over four. On this same drawing, one square inch of scale drawing area would represent 16 square inches of actual area since r squared is 1 16th.